Van Campbell is, uh, is a small farm. It's a traditional old uh, Welsh farm. It's 50 acres and it, it has, roughly speaking, about seven or eight acres of woodlands, some roads, some yard areas, and some environmental areas, some permanent grass. And then we have about 15 acres in, included in all that area, about 15 acres of vegetables, plus about one and a half acres of greenhouse space and about half an acre of composting area. And that's really what we've been doing for the last, oh, 20, 30 years. I mean, it hasn't expanded and hasn't contracted. All that's happened is we've got more efficient at producing and more productive in the area that we work in. And that's been great because the demand for our produce has gone up. Our aim is to become carbon negative. In other words, we're sequestering more carbon than we're actually expending or emitting. And by and large, we're there. For our purposes, to be, to be as low carbon as possible means to produce everything as simply as you possibly can and distribute it in as short a chain as you can imagine uh, and yet produce really healthy, tasty crops. And if we are in a situation as we are in West Wales, where the population is so low, we can't specialise without exp exporting to, say, England. The vehicle for that, the easiest one, is farmers' markets, which is what we do now. So to do that, we have to forget about specialization, we have to be generous. And so we try to grow as, almost as many crops as possible. I mean, at the moment we're growing about 54, 55, 56 different vegetables, salads, herbs and some fruit. And the key ones are potatoes, carrots, lettuce, spinach, but there's lots of other interesting things to make it fun. Compost is, the, is the, the source of all health on the farm. The greenhouses are the necessity for offering a range of products throughout the year. I mean, this small farm uh, is, what is it trying to do? It's trying to say, is it possible to create a model by which, in Wales, we can produce a reasonable menu of vegetables and salad right throughout the year? Is that possible? Do we have to uh, import from Spain and France and places like that every year at a time when we need to be more sustainable, more resilient and more carbon friendly? And I don't know what the answer is completely, but we're on that journey. Uh, it's an interesting journey. We've gone a long way down it, and I would say that yes, it is probably possible. And that's quite exciting.